everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the second episode of Peacemaker. This is the first DC show we've ever watched. I don't know if there's other ones or not. Um, I definitely know that this one uh, probably is the most popular if, mm. there, if there is, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot and if this is setting the precedent for future DC shows, I feel like they really have something here. I mean obviously we yeah. haven't finished it yet, but that was a really good first episode. Yeah, a lot different than what we've seen from Marvel for their shows. And, you know, it's... Casey mentioned this between, because we're watching the first and the episode back to back. She said there was kind of elements that kind of reminded you of the boys with, like, the grittiness, but a little bit more tame, Game which is funny because, you know, they did some crazy stuff in this last episode, too. So that tells you how crazy the boys is. Yeah, and, I mean, it's, it's interesting because it's, like, more grittier, definitely more rated R. <laughs> um, and shows don't always have to be that way, but, you know, you can still tell a great story in a PG-13, too. Yeah, you know, even, like, The Batman, you know, yeah, with uh, yeah. Robert Pattinson. And they still made that dark and gritty, and that's yeah. why I feel like DC needs to like really swerve into. I said that during the Suicide Squad too, but I just feel like that kind of separates them yeah. from Marvel. There's like, like a realness mm -hmm. and a rawness, which you know, Marvel. I we love Marvel too. Yeah. You know, not everything has been like uh, you know an A plus movie or a show, but they just have like. Um, like a campiness about them, but it, it works yeah, when it like works. Yeah, it's like their brand, their style. And I feel like with DC, the dark and gritty, because even if yeah. you think about the Dark Knight trilogy, that was kind of a dark and gritty series of movies as well. So whether it's PG-13 or, you know, going full on R, which I feel like it's going to be dictated on, you know, the character and how that character was portrayed in the comics is probably what they're keeping it, like, accurate to. I just feel like that's what they need to stick with. <laughs> Dumb shit. <laughs> Who's calling who? Oh, oh are you peacemaker? <laughs> what the fuck is Project Butterfly? What? Well, we got a situation here. What? I hooked up with a chick, and I'm not saying that to make you jealous. <laughs> she was a mad human freak that threw me around the room like an angry kid with his little sister's cabbage patch doll. Oh, fuck! Where is she now? Wait, what? Are you running? I'm going back to get my shit in her apartment. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, I'm on my way. I didn't give you the address. It's like, did they know this would happen? Maybe. New girl, you're driving. Peacemaker just killed a damn butterfly. <laughs> okay, so, so she's she a butterfly. So she was a butterfly. Okay, this has to be about Vigilante. I would imagine. Because he doesn't want to be his best friend, but mm -hmm. he would want to be his best friend. At least that's how it seemed in the first episode. <laughs> now is not the time for socks. Unless they're like special superhero socks. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the track. Yeah, it looks like he's still inside the apartments. We're almost there. Okay, get him out of there. Hawcourt, I don't think I need to remind you how important this operation is. I've got it handled. Don't worry, I'm almost there. Yeah, there's definitely something big going on. More so than just taking out people. What are you doing? Watch the road. I also have dogs. Okay. Do you think they're safe? Are they big dogs? No, they're pretty small, but one of them, Emerson, he likes to wear these little outfits. <laughs> so it, it likes wearing the outfits? <laughs> we like to say that about our pug wearing sweaters, too. He likes wearing his sweater. He thinks he's big shit when he wears a sweater. <laughs> Peacemaker's vehicle's at the scene. Can you change the name on the registration? Yep. Good. The registration of his car? <laughs> what the hell? The report said an explosion. How'd the fire <laughs> stay intact? Oh, <laughs> hey, that's a good question. Yeah, though. that would be. Is that enough trouble with that maniac vigilante running around? Vigilante. vigilante. Huh. So what's he up to then? Oh my oh gosh! My gosh. Oh, my oh my gosh! She's just trying to kill you. <laughs> A what? Mm. A face. A Is it done? Face. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wouldn't have been as gross if you wouldn't have said pizza. Now you said it, and now it's gross. If it was just <laughs> the skin. It's just done. It's just done. It's done. <laughs> I can't believe this idiot fucked the butterfly. I mean, the man's been in prison for So they did not years. plan that. I believe he wouldn't fuck. A bowl of oatmeal, grapefruit, some yogurt. A yogurt? I'm hungry. 
I know you don't believe me, but Emerson, he really does like to wear clothes. If you don't put him in something new in the morning, he'll just... The dog? Mine until you do. <laughs> do you, you pet the dog when he looks cute in these clothes? I guess. He oh. doesn't want to wear the clothes. He's just willing to humiliate himself for your love. <laughs> I think he just likes looking smart. <laughs> It's funny because I asked, like, why is only one dog wearing clothes yeah. in the first episode? <laughs> He's still in the apartment. You just put a sheet over it? What are you doing? Oh, he's taking stealing? Oh! What the oh. hell is that? Maybe you should take that just because... That looks like outer space. Yeah. Something from your dad's secret lab. You know, it's easy to forget that this is like a superhero, mm -hmm. like... Universe, world, yeah, where things are. But it's cool because it feels so grounded in reality, but like not obviously. Yeah. But no, man, I'm not gonna fucking look for your eagle. Roll down the window, stick your hand outside, and then crinkle a bag. He'll think you have chips. He'll come right out to you. Chips? chips? <laughs> Is there somebody in the window up there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is there any other way out of this building? Just the front door here and another on the side. Okay, you two with us. You two, cover that side door. There's no exit on the back of the building. I mean, he jumped off before. Keep going up. Do you recognize this guy? Mm-mm. He was in Night of the Roxbury who, like, went to the oh, wedding at the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> Which I did a reaction to that, if you want to see it. Hey man, what's up? Oh, it's oh. <laughs> you guys sent me a uh, ponder, flinder, tender, grinder. Fucking grinder. <laughs> no, all your stuff. What are you doing? Pick those up. <laughs> Knock on doors. Ask if he has a bag. <laughs> You, you can down. make it. You jumped before. Parkour. Oh, I used to really love Cinderella. Yeah, Tom Kiefer and the boys are like the perfect mix of blues and metal. Fuck yeah. Yeah. This is oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! That's the only apartment that didn't answer. <laughs> doesn't hurt too much, does it? No, not at all. I feel like they got problems in their Thank relationship. <laughs> I think he's just claustrophobic. I know, but she looks like she's looking at him oh. with, like disgust because of it. And not the way she's looking at him. I, <laughs> well, I just said it was nice, god damn it, and we also seem to have oh a lot goodness. in common. Like what? Uh, we both love Cinderella. In seven years. Not once have you mentioned Cinderella. Well, I talk about Cinderella at least once a week. Oh my gosh, yeah, they definitely have problems. <laughs> yeah. They're always going on about Coldplay and fuss with the fucking people. Oh, you're going to put down my musical taste now? Coldplay and fuss with the people? Of kicks, Evan? Do you know what that song is about? Murder! You are a murderer! You are murdering my spirit! Oh my gosh, just leave now. I am not trying to fuck that, but you know what, Evan? Oh my god, maybe I will. Who knows what's going to fucking happen? Right, because I'm tied up, I'm helping. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, don't do it. I mean, seriously, who fucking knows? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Evergreen police, open the door or break it in. What is he like the sad about it? Why even like spend all this time? Just leave. They're still yelling at each other. There he is. All those things are gonna break. Why did you even need to take it all? Oh, kid. <laughs> Surprise, that stayed in the bag. I mean, the sheet. It was the twine. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh! You just misjudge your jump? <laughs> Not very graceful. I don't know. Maybe he needs to work on his, I don't know, 
What do you call that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jumped. My wife is a dick! You're oh. a fucking dick! God, you <laughs> have one! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god, gosh. how did you land god the first time? Maybe you don't have any super human <laughs> powers. <laughs> Maybe it's all the helmet. I mean, he obviously can fight, though. Mm. Listen, I can help. I'm stellar with weapons in combat. Call your jets, Jason Bourne. Just be ready to take off when we get back to the car. Watch her be like a secret badass. I mean, her mom is Amanda Waller. Oh, he's still not down? I thought this was like the oh, freaking <laughs> first floor. Dang. Well, just go to the stairs. I know, they're yeah. right there. Oh my gosh, oh she's my got gosh. a... I'm surprised you haven't broken anything at this point. That's like... Oh, oh my gosh. Maybe he does have something because most people would have broken yeah. their leg. Do not move. Step forward and into the light. Those gotta be like tranks, yeah. though, right? I mean, actually, I wouldn't know. They might kill him. They're probably tranks. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, he's not fucking here yet. I mean, you're getting shot at. That was a valid question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it? Oh, Eagle. Don't shoot him. Okay, okay, okay no, good. Eagle cannot die. Oh, go! What are you waiting for? That thing better not shit back there. Couldn't Eagle have just flown away and met y'all later? All they did was get away from friggin' Peacemaker's their horrible Honda Civic. decision of a one-night stand. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is this the office? They made it look nice. Yeah. I changed the fingerprints out to the same person, which they'll discover when they get the lab results back in a couple days. That's not how that works, but good. Great. Who'd you change it to? Oh, Mr. Murn, you're gonna love this. The dad? Oh! Yeah? What? <gasps> I was wondering if you would mind answering a few questions for us. Yeah, I mind more for me. Oh my why gosh. Why did you not have your why more for me? Let's just say that uh, Egg Foo Young ain't my thing, baby. Oh my gosh. Your kid is in Christopher Smith? Peacemaker? Arrest me or get the fuck out of here, chopsticks. Yeah, well, we'll be seeing you, Fork. She called Fork. <laughs> <laughs> Also, it was such a stupid thing to put it in the dad's name because it just connects right back to Peacemaker. Yeah. Put it in some rando. Yeah. I mean, sucks for the rando, I but... Know. You could have chosen anyone. That's what I'm saying! Yeah. In the name of Peacemaker's father. Why? It's yeah. such a stupid decision. You could have made up somebody, made it difficult. We're trying to get this man on our side, and you thought the right way to do that was to frame his father. <laughs> I don't want to be insubordinate, but I kind of did some magical shit here today, and now I feel like you're angry at me. <laughs> we just got shot at! <laughs> like, whoa! Like, my adrenaline is pumping. Pumping like glass breaking everything you ever been shot at. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was all He's disappointed. Like I'm not gonna do this if you keep calling me that name. What name? That fake name. You saying I'm fake news? Die no, I'm beard. saying you're a fucking asshole. I'd rather be with Harley Quinn than you. I'd rather be with Harley the Quinn. weasel than you. <laughs> the the weasel. weasel! I'd rather be with fucking Batmite than you. Who's Batmite? What? I don't know who that is. Two foot tall interdimensional imp who stands Batman. I'd rather be with him. <laughs> what? Stands Batman? <laughs> that was like a comic book reader response. Like you're like, who's that? And they're like, well, it's this, this, this. How did this Annie Sturphausen know about Peacemaker? Maybe someone's feeding the butterflies information. Who? Mm. Waller. It's not Waller. Yeah. I don't think it's Waller either. You don't know her like I do. Apparently, Amanda Waller's gonna get her own show. Really? I, yeah, I saw that. 
which Viola Davis can carry, so. She's really entrusted with taking down the butterflies. Still no reason to give us up. Well, the four of us and Waller are the only ones who knew about it. You're the one who brought the butterflies. The guy at the freaking restaurant. So it can't be you. And it's not me. Restaurant guy. I'm my ass on the line to save Muscle Man Weekly. <laughs> What are your actual qualifications? Mm -hmm. And how do I know that you're not one of them? It's not her. I trust her the most because Eagley liked her. No. to bite me. Yeah, but not as hard as he tries to bite everybody else. <laughs> I don't even like when my balls are in somebody's mouth, okay? It gives me the wrong type of chills. And all I can what? think about is how long it's been since I've gotten checked for testicular cancer. Oh! <laughs> You are so fucked up, it's adorable, Diabetes. Don't call me that! <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I don't think it's any of us. Well, then why did Sturp House and try to kill Pete? It's the guy at the freaking restaurant, because he saw y'all there. Oh, shit. She got the information because you brought the freaking file. Probably because you literally left the file out. Oh, oh what the oh, fuck? Do you remember that? So that's what yeah. happened. Show them whatever that freaking little stone thing was that was lit up for the government in the apartment of some rando who blew you? It's not some rando who blew me, man. We fully fought. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what we're up against here, Smith. The fate of the country depends on this mission. And nobody told me that. Nobody's even told me what a fucking butterfly is. <laughs> I want to know what a butterfly is. Mm -hmm. They keep saying one of the butterflies. Are they like freaking chimeras? I mean, she was making yeah. some weird noises. Very chimera-ish. Wait, is being a butterfly like a venereal disease sometimes? <laughs> Fuck, am I gonna become one? Am I a fucking dick vampire now? When are you gonna tell us that we're witnesses? <laughs> the humor in this, this is crazy. <laughs> you probably already forgot about the stupid little, um... Well, that's, I guess it's not stupid because I feel like it's important, but the little thing that was glowing. Yeah. The fact that these aren't just, like, destroyed is ridiculous. <laughs> they got thrown mm -hmm. like 10 times from the balcony. I feel like it's a uh, communication device. And I feel like she used, well, once she read the file, she used it to communicate it with some other people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody fucking hates you. Aww. This guy's gonna be a computer friend, but you push away like you push everybody away because you're a fucking dick. <laughs> Die beard. Killed Rick Flag. Oh, mm. he still holds on to that. Peacemaker. <laughs> what a joke. Buddy? Wow. Oh, is this vigilante? Oh, yeah. Oh. Fucking stalker? No. What are you doing? Are you looking at me and jerking off right now? Is your dick out? <laughs> what? No, no, man. Look. I'm not gonna oh. fucking look. It's the oldest trick in the book. I <laughs> look and you fucking rock hard. You throw jizz in my face. No fucking way. <laughs> what? Dude, my dick is not out. Is that what you get off on? Me seeing your fucking dick? No. Who the fuck said that? Louis C.K. piece of shit. What? I'll fucking kill that guy. No, he didn't say it. You, you're like Louis C.K. <laughs> because I'm funny? Fucking funny, dude? No. You don't know what happened with that, do you? Uh -uh. I'll what tell you that? after. Uh -huh. Louis C.K.'s comedy specials. I don't even know who that is. It's a comedian. Oh. Jesus, man, do you read the news? No. What for? It's depressing. Look, hey, I'm begging you. Will you please, please, just look at my crotch? <laughs> <laughs> See? Can you see that? He reminds me of Black Noir. <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Because I'm exercising the muscles in my face, making my face more muscular. I tell under your mask, your face is skinny as shit. You don't do these exercises. <laughs> Some of them look like crying. They're not crying. Well, can you maybe teach them to me? Yes. You want a friend? I don't know if I trust him yet, though. Evan, I can open the door myself. Being a gentleman, uh -huh. fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm wondering if you've ever had an all-expenses-paid trip to the beautiful Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to fucking bribe us? No. Watch him be like, uh, okay. Just hoping you were trying to bribe us. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to bribe you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You need some help cleaning up? I guess. So, how did you get out anyway? I thought you were in prison for life. It's a secret. Dude, I'm your best friend. <laughs> no. Well, who's your best friend then? Someone you met in prison. I knew it. Dude, it's Eagly. Eagly! <laughs> who's your best friend? I don't even know your secret identity. Yeah, I don't tell you my real identity for your He's sake. He's the waiter. Yeah. put a target on you. People will try to use you to get to me. Hey, where does this go? With the other. Chicago? <laughs> I like that movie. <laughs> I know I have a bony face because I don't do face muscle exercises, but that doesn't cut down very much on the suspects. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. Holy shit, look at that. It's a funny smiley man. Oh my hey, gosh. Do you want to come over and play? <laughs> man, that's adorable. Hey, how'd you get out anyway? I work for the government up here. It's so the guy at the restaurant. Post office? I don't remember his voice, but I feel like it's him. When I find out someone murdered an innocent person, or sold somebody heroin, or did some graffiti, and I kill that person. <laughs> graffiti? Eyeballs popping out of their skulls. <laughs> You think that gives me pleasure? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. I really don't trust him. Well, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you pleasure too, Peacemaker. That's because we're born killers. Now, mm -hmm. do I sound like a fucking maniac? <laughs> like they were killing the freedom fighters <laughs> in Suicide Squad. I've been saving up appliances ever since you were arrested. I'm just gonna like break a whole bunch of appliances. This is like I a, like this song. What's well, like a? It's like a thing, like a break room or something like that, where you could just like break a whole bunch of random shit. Because <laughs> he's PC. Yeah. It's definitely this guy. It's this guy. You Are you sure? sure? Yeah. Oh, oh they just picked the wrong fucking person. Oh my god. <gasps> it always keeps going back to bed. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor? Amber. Oh my gosh! Oh no! The wife! Don't tell me the husband's here too. Oh, oh my, my oh, oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. <laughs> what the hell? Three years ago, I would have shot both of you in the face for that. Oh, for smoking weed? <laughs> you do that to people who just like graffiti shit. Okay. Maybe you should be a little more careful with this alien technology. What's he gonna do? I feel like you shouldn't be pushing. Is that like a spaceship? That's like a spaceship. It looks like it, right? Yeah. Are the aliens small? <laughs> or does it get bigger? Is it a model? <laughs> That's my spot between five and seven during winter. So fucking move. Yeah? And if I don't? So he's been here before in prison. I can't tell whose side everyone else is on. I feel on. like they're on his side. Like he's I the guess. big boss here. I guess. Like everybody knows him. He's, I mean, he seems like he's been in and out of prison, uh -huh. so. I'm dying for this seat. No, I don't know. Maybe not. They're gonna try to challenge. Isn't that what you do in prison? You like <laughs> challenge the top <laughs> person. Oh no! Nope, oh, they're like, they like pledging their undying the loyalty. <laughs> System's overcrowded. You'll have to stay here through his trial. Uh oh! You might have oh just gosh. like. Uh, oh my oh, gosh! God. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> well, bringing him to 
prison was the worst. I know, thing you just y'all gave him an done. army. <laughs> you literally reunited him with his I don't know what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 That's not where I Is thought he, that was I gonna know. go. <laughs> Is he gonna be like a like a villain? I guess. I mean, obviously he's not a great guy. I don't know. It's definitely not the hot guy. <laughs> Fuck you, Amber! Oh, <laughs> me, Evan! <clears throat> this guy. <laughs> Can I keep this one? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! We were introduced to Vigilante here, but we still may have been introduced to him in the last episode. I feel like that's what the guy was in the diner. Um, I don't know if I trust him yet. He seems, I don't want to call him straight edge, obviously, because he's killing people for like, you know, minor offenses and whatnot. You know, putting his dad in jail seems like a mistake. I know. Because <laughs> uh, now he has an army. I know, which I don't, like, I don't know if the dad, I mean, honestly, anybody could potentially have powers, mm -hmm. you know, because we are in like a superhero universe. Yeah. So I don't really know. I mean, obviously he's like, some sort of weird mad scientist thing going on here mm -hmm. uh, so that's a thing and then yeah who know he might want to get revenge on the system for putting him in prison yeah and I also think that I mean obviously it looked like a spaceship that little thing that you know opened up when he pressed the yeah. button could the butterflies like travel here from like a different planet or whatnot and could they take over people maybe they're aliens yeah that's what I kind of yeah. think is like the case maybe they are actual butterflies and maybe they just like uh, like in Silence of the Lambs, there was like that moth that goes in like the oh mouth gosh. and whatnot. What if they're like, like literal what butterfly? if they're operating people and like they like kind of a like a venom situation? Oh. You know, they need like it's a symbiotic relationship. Uh, maybe that's why they have the senator too. I mean, I feel like it's possible. We still don't know all the details about the butterflies yet because yeah. they haven't told Peacemaker, they haven't told us. But I feel like now with him fighting this. We're going to get a little bit more information. If they are connected to outer space or a different planet or whatnot, I feel like they're going to have to say something now. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.